Mr. Crazy Doubtful, this is somehow magic. Now, I have never sent a video response to you before. Um, I have seen that you have had correspondence in the past with uh, from outside the box. I think he's an interesting guy. Um, anyway, that's not about that. My question to you is, why do you believe in a god? Why? Um, now, if you can actually explain your belief and give really good reason, I would I would love to actually hear that. I, I would find that interesting. That's one of the things I've done on YouTube is actually watch many debates between people who believe and people who don't. Um, I do believe 100% that there has never, ever been any proof for a god or gods. Um, but I'm curious to know why you believe. Also, I'm curious, have you actually ever looked at the opposing side with a completely open mind? Without skeptic, well, no, 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 skepticism is a healthy thing. But why would you have skepticism against the opposing side and not the side of religion? I mean, I find it interesting that a lot of religious people hold skepticism in so many important uh, aspects of their life, but when it comes to religion, they just accept it. I saw an interesting video how if we actually witness some of the supposed miracles that are in the Bible today, if we saw those in real life, there would be a lot of skepticism for that. Actually witnessing it. Um, thinking that there was some kind of a really interesting magic trick or if science played with physics and was able to do something that seemed impossible, there'd be a lot of skepticism for it. Yet when people of religious or religious backgrounds read it in the Bible, they just accept it when in their real life, um, same type of events, they would have much skepticism over. And I found that really, really interesting. Um, so that, that's another part of the question. Why don't you have skepticism about stories written by people who did not have an understanding of the world around them? Not saying that we have a huge, huge understanding now, but we do have a larger understanding of our world than we did centuries ago. So those are just questions for you. This isn't me giving you shit about anything. This is just honest-to-goodness questions. Um, I really look forward to what your response is going to be on it. The two questions again. Why do you believe? Second question is, why are you not skeptical when you would be with other things in your life that you would deem less important? Look forward to your response. Somehow magic. We'll talk to you later.